The state of the 2024 presidential race really shook up last week when President Joe Biden stepped down from the race, endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris a few seconds later. And now here we are a week later. You have a new poll, Harvard Caps Harris poll on the state of the race. What are some of your takeaways? Well, the more things change, the more they seem to stay the same is kind of the critical takeaway, which is that going into the debate, Trump had a several point advantage over Biden. Uh, and after the debate, the Biden was pretty much falling off a cliff, uh, particularly with the fact that Democrats had split and many of them were asking for him to re resign. Now that he did resign from running again and Kamala Harris is the nominee, the race has come back to where it was with, with some changes. Uh, if you look, President Trump has a 48% favorable, highest favorable he's had because of some of the, I think, the character that he showed under, under literally uh, fire. Uh, and Kamala Harris's image is totally different from what it was. She used to have a 38-52 unfavorable, and now all of a sudden it's 47-47 favorable out of the blue. A uh, dramatic change in a week now that she's the nominee. And, uh, and Democrats are cheering that, that they have a, a new nominee who could possibly take down Donald Trump. I know she's seeing this coronation. She's seeing what many describe as this honeymoon phase. President Biden, according to this poll, still doesn't have the best approval rating. Because she's his number two, is that going to stick to her? Well, that's the real question. There's only 100 days here. She didn't really have the testing of a primary. Uh, and it seems like in the modern world, candidates can duck virtually anything for 100 days. So is, is in fact, she going to be stuck with what people think about the Biden record? Uh, is her uh, kind of burst of enthusiasm uh, going to kind of win out and kind of slide through? She's got the Democratic convention coming up while the Republicans have already had their convention, so they won't get a, another shot. She's got a VP nominee. She's got a lot of things to kind of keep momentum going here. Uh, in our poll, Trump is winning by three to four points, depending upon who's in and who's out. Uh, but, but that means it's a relatively close race.